Hello guys, what's up? A good follower slash subscriber want me to warn you guys about a new scam in town. This man seemed to be heartbroken because his family lost 2,000 rands in groceries and cash. They also lost two smartphones to this scam. So this is what happened. This man says his wife and his nephew went to town yesterday to buy supplies for a four-year-old child who was about to start going to crash. They had 2,000 rand in cash. And after buying everything that was needed, they had 800 rand in cash left. And now it was time to go back home. They headed to the taxi rank. And while they were looking for the right taxi, a stranger approached them, asking for help. He told them that he's with an old lady from Mozambique, who has a diamond. The precious stone was about to be sold. But the problem was that the old lady was skeptical, because she had never seen South African banknotes before. So the stranger politely asked the wife, to show the old lady how South African banknotes look like. What the wife did not know is that this was a way to find out if she still have cash on her. The old lady and the guy were actually a team. They were working together. The wife did not suspect anything because what are the odds of getting robbed by an old lady? The guy then asked the wife and the nephew to come with him to go meet the buyer so they can facilitate the deal on behalf of the old lady. The diamond was going to be sold for 36,000 rands and the wife and the nephew were offered 2,000 rand each for their part in this. However, they were told to leave their groceries, their smartphones and their cash with the old lady. And they agreed because where would the old lady go? They trusted the old lady and now they have to follow the guy to go sell the diamond. And one of them had to hold the diamond just in case the other guy cannot be trusted. Cause you never know. The other guy might run away with the old lady's diamond, the poor old lady. Now they are on their way to the buyer and the guy started walking fast, too fast for them to catch up and soon they realized that he was nowhere to be found. It was also crowded in town because it was month end. After trying to find this guy with no success, they decided to go back to the old lady. Good thing they still have the diamond and unfortunately the old lady was nowhere to be found. The brother who sent me this said when his wife showed him the stone that was supposed to be a diamond. He realized that it was glass from the bottom part of a broken wine glass. His wife also told him that the guy who scammed them was speaking Shona. And they are Shona too. The old lady was speaking Tsonga and she was saying that she's from Mozambique. So I hope that after watching this video you won't fall for the diamond scam. Also share this video and warn other about this scam too. If you have experienced this before or know anyone who was a victim of this, let us know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. If you have already subscribed to the channel, please turn on notifications. If you have already turned on notifications, you are awesome. And I want you to know that I appreciate you. Thank you. See you in the next video.